the other day this arrived it's a um it's a green light cables are a bit short I will extend them back in a moment here we are it's connected let's power it up While I was connecting it, I did have a look under the cover. I found something slightly interesting. Have a look at this. There's a switch just here. Let's find out what it does. Hmm. Flashes. Gotta try the third position. Oh yeah, rotating, I do like that. You may be wondering what's it actually for, the green light. Well, to be honest, I've seen on construction sites on large plant like JCBs, diggers and dumper trucks, that they have a green light as well. That is as well as the amber light they have to have. The amber light is to indicate that they're there. Why are they have it up? You can see the truck, it's big enough as it is, but they have an amber light. But, say, just recently, I've started to notice that a lot of them have a green light, bit flashing, rotating, whatever, like, like this one is. And I'm thinking, well, hang on. Doctors have those for when they're on call, but they're not a doctor, obviously. So I looked into it. Because they're off-road, it doesn't matter, they can have whatever they really want because they are off-road. So yes, I'm going to say they could have a blue light if they wanted to. But I'm guessing people go, ooh, ooh, no, not blue light. But legally, I think you'll find they can. But the reason they have it is if the green light is on, it's to indicate that the driver of said plant is actually wearing the seatbelt. It was a law that was passed four or five years ago that says they have to have a green light to indicate that... The, the operator is actually wearing his or her seatbelt. Interesting, I thought. Next thing we'll be having them in cars. <laughs> I don't think so. If you want to support the channel so I can buy more expensive kit to take videos of, please buy me a coffee. Link down below. And as always, thanks for watching.